Hello, this is Earl Purdy, Earl Raj Purdy, and uh, Alan Gajawa, and we're continuing studying the Course in Miracles together on special love relationships and how to apply the Course in Miracles principles to each other. Yes, so we're just right. studying the way we normally study with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of resistance to this section going mm -hmm. on. How can so, you tell? Well, because there's lots of construction all mm -hmm. around us all of a sudden. Yes. So if it was this not a high-tech operation <laughs> so if you hear something that's really loud we'll stop and we'll say it again or whatever right. we're, gonna, we're gonna do we, oh. we, we, <laughs> like, go on, go we're gonna do <laughs> that's right we're gonna do see what we said every it's like every second it's something that's, that's some kind of sound something we got jingling and everything else. so the ego which mm -hmm. is the part of us that don't want to hear this stuff mm -hmm. it's on the prowl yeah, right so now this, this is gonna be okay. a good section so it's gonna be a good section okay and um, we are on page 345 mm -hmm. and the bridge to the real world. Anna. Yes. AnnaKajawa.com. You got all kinds of great videos and classes yes. of Anna mm -hmm. at AnnaKajawa.com. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Thank you. EarlPurdy.com. You want to see more videos on the Course in Miracles and other stuff that we're doing. Yes. I meant to say that All right. so we can be in communication. Mm -hmm. uh, paragraph three, there's a way in which the Holy Spirit asks your help. If you would have the Holy Spirit's help, there's a way in which the Holy Spirit asks your help. Mm -hmm. If you would have the Holy Spirit's help, the Holy Instant is the Holy Spirit's most helpful aid in protecting you from the attraction to guilt. The Holy Instant is the Holy Spirit's most helpful okay. aid in protecting you from the attraction right. of guilt. One of those. The real lure. Yes. In the special uh, relationship, is the attraction of guilt. It's the real attraction in the special relationship is the attraction say, of guilt. That's uh, something you don't hear from uh, many other uh, spiritual systems. <laughs> you do not recognize that this is the special relationship's real appeal, mm -hmm. guilt. That's right. For the ego, which is the part of you that don't really know a damn thing, right. uh, has taught you that freedom lies in the special relationship. Mm -hmm. Yet the closer you look at the special relationship, the more apparent it becomes that the special relationship must foster guilt and therefore the special relationship must mm. imprison. Okay. So what did you hear and how can you apply it to our relationship? Okay, so what I heard was that um, that if we want to have Holy Spirit's help, that we're going to have to also give Holy Spirit our help. So if we want to have His help, we got to give Him help. And the way that He's asking for our help is something called a holy instant. And that holy instant is the thing that will, it is an aid in protecting us from the attraction to guilt that we will be experiencing in our relationship. So we're going to be experiencing attraction hold to it. guilt. How do I look? Oh, right. Uh, right. right. I, can't, okay. I can't believe we made it this far uh, oh, that's, wait, wait into the video. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not you, yeah, is it, yeah. Am I looking crazy you, this week? Is, is, no, can I get no. It? You oh. look Fine. Okay, yeah. so that that wasn't me interrupting the Holy Spirit because I didn't want to hear well, the truth, I, was it? Uh, was that no what happened? comment. Was that, <laughs> was that what I just did? But, and then my earring backing fell out and uh, broke. Uh, oh my God. I know. An earring backing? Yes. That's much more important than the, than the Holy Spirit. <laughs> that's for sure. So uh, we just no, had, to, we had like, to stop for a minute and deal with what was really important. Exactly. By the way, you look stunning. Wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me make <laughs> sure everything you. is Thank you. It's perfect Thank here. You. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's important. Thank you. Who cares what you're saying? Right. It's about how you look. Exactly. You know? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in case y'all want to get like a port, port. Okay. <laughs> get a little portrait of us. <laughs> so, now, what did I interrupt now, you? Because I didn't want to hear the hell of what you was talking about. Go ahead. Go, go back. I'm so glad you know what just happened. Yeah. That, thank okay. you. Okay. So what I heard yes. was that uh, if we want the help of our loving right minds, mm -hmm. which we're going to need in our relationship, mm -hmm. and we're going to need help in our relationship because we have both have an attraction to guilt. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And that means that I'm going to be attracted to feel guilty. I'm going to be attracted to use guilt on you. I'm, I have an attraction to guilt within me. But there's something, there's something called the holy instant, which is an aid that will protect us from the lure of guilt, which we don't see it, but is the real attraction in the special relationship. Not the holy relationship, but the special relationship. The real lure. Ooh, what is it? Ooh, what is it that draws me? I can't say no to the special relationship. The real lure is guilt. 
because I have an attraction to guilt. I have a desire for guilt. But so the Holy Spirit's given us something called the Holy Instant, which will protect us. So when we feel that attraction to guilt, then we'll be like, okay, what what the Course say to do? Oh yeah, call upon the Holy Instant. Call upon, oh, this Holy Instant I give to you. I'm attracted to guilt right now. I'm attracted to specialness right now. I ask for your help, Spirit. I ask for your help. I'm attracted to guilt. Now, this if this is our way of helping Holy Spirit help us. The Holy Spirit wants to help us, wants to protect us from that from that attraction to guilt. And so if we'll stop for a moment and use that holy instant, then Holy Spirit can help us. He says, He says the reason we don't realize that the real lure in the special relationship is guilt, that that's what I'm really attracted to in you. That's why I was really attracted to you. That's why I really wanted a relationship with you that was based on our bodies. Hold it. This does not sound romantic. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't this, at all. This, this does not sound at romantic. All. Yeah. It doesn't sound like something I'm going to tell somebody I want to have a special mm -hmm. love relationship with. Baby. Yes. The real reason why I'm attracted mm -hmm. to you is the guilt I'm going to feel right. with you. Exactly. Yes, right. That's what mm -hmm. I, re I, right. I really want a mm -hmm. guilt-producing relationship. That's right. I'm not going to say that. Well, you Because she won't get into a special relationship that will produce the guilt if I mm -hmm. say that. Right. That's why it's your protection. Because if you say that, then you will be protected from your own attraction to, to form a, a guilt-based relationship. But you know, it's like so. You say it's we, we, it isn't romantic, but all the things that we that all the romance that we go for. Look how it turns out. This is the reverse. This you start off telling the truth. I don't love you. I'm really attracted into this relationship because I'm attracted to guilt. It starts off very unromantic because it starts off with the truth, but it has the ending is exactly opposite from the outcome of the romantic relationships. And the outcome is real love. But yeah, but yes, this is decidedly unromantic. But on the other side of this unromantic stuff is real love. Okay. Yeah, okay. All okay. right, so, but I'm glad, thank you for saying I got to your say resistance. the stuff that my ego was Me too. Right you now. Got to. It's, it's like where I'm right now is I just need to say, you know, it's, right. Like, right, it's like right now in this study session, it's like, I want the Holy Spirit to just take over and mm -hmm. and and we just go. Yes. Wherever we need to go. Beautiful. You know, it's like mm -hmm. I join with you in that. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I love I yeah. love letting letting spirit take it and do what spirit would do with it. Okay. So he's saying that the real reason that I don't recognize that the real attraction I have to a special relationship is the attraction to guilt. I don't recognize that. I don't recognize that. You don't recognize that. I don't recognize I'm being attracted to guilt. I don't recognize I'm being attracted to guilt. Okay. Last time I was attracted to that relationship and I had all that excitement and pleasure and joy, whether it was romantic or whatever, I did not recognize that the real lure in that was guilt. I didn't recognize I was turned on by guilt. I still don't recognize that. That's why I'm doing this. I still don't recognize that I'm turned on by guilt. I still don't recognize I'm turned on by guilt. Raj, Earl, you don't recognize <laughs> that you're turned on by guilt. You don't recognize when you're attracted to somebody in a special relationship that what you're really attracted to is the guilt, the guilt that the special relationship can make you feel. That's right. I still don't recognize that either, and that's why we need protection, like he's saying. You need protection. So what is the spiritual condom? It's the holy instant. Mm. Okay, so the holy instant. That's the protection. Right. So it's a, it's a moment where you stop and you ask for protection from your own attraction to guilt, your own desire to use guilt, and your own desire to say yes to guilt. And you ask for protection. That's what he calls a holy instant. And the reason that I don't recognize that I'm really attracted to guilt when I'm attracted to specialness is because my ego taught me that freedom lies in feeling guilty. And, and my ego taught me that my freedom comes from feeling guilty in a relationship, using guilt, and saying yes to guilt. Absolutely, my ego taught me, you don't, you, you know, you don't accept guilt or use guilt, you'll be alone. 
you'll lose. Right? That's what my ego taught me. So my ego taught me that my freedom and my safety and security lies in guilt and a relationship based on guilt. That's what my ego taught me. That's why I don't recognize that the real lure in the special attraction is guilt. Because my ego really said, you want love, you want companionship, you want friendship, you don't want to be alone, then you better use guilt. And you better say yes to guilt when someone uses it on you. And I said, oh, <laughs> okay, lesson learned. Now he says that, um, then he says, but the closer you look at the relationship that, that uses guilt, the, the more you see, the, the more obvious it becomes that a relationship based on guilt really is going to foster, what's it going to foster? Guilt. guilt and therefore, it really must imprison. And the closer you look at it, the closer you look at it, you see that any relationship that uses guilt as a way of whatever, keeping that relationship together, is something that really imprisons you. It doesn't set you free. It doesn't set you free. It imprisons you. Anything, anytime that, um, that guilt enters our relationship, whether I'm using it against you to get what I want, or I'm saying yes to it because I want to keep you, then that's what I'm really doing. What we're See, that's the, that's the noise we're talking about. That's we're right. going to keep on going. And we're I love the metaphor. Going. It's the it's somebody throwing big heavy stuff in the yeah, dumpster. That's right. <laughs> and so that means that we doing. should really be paying attention to what's being said <laughs> right now. That's right. So... So any time, uh, any relationship that uses guilt really is something, when you really look at it, it's something that, that imprisons you, that, that you're going to feel imprisoned by. Ooh. Oh, wow. So that's what guilt Ooh. really does. Its purpose is to imprison. Wow. So, so the Holy Instant is, is the Holy Spirit's most helpful aid in protecting me from the attraction of guilt. Mm -hmm. Then a holy relationship it's also supposed to be a helpful aid in protecting mm. me from the attraction of guilt. So right, when I'm nice. in a whole, so if I'm in a special mm. relationship with you, right. I'm trying to make you feel guilty, myself feel guilty right. to the specialness, yes. to keep the specialness. But if I'm in a holy relationship with you, then I'm actually, this relationship is supposed to be an aid in protecting us from ever feeling guilty. This would exactly. be the one place we come uh -huh. to be released from exactly. all feelings of guilt. That's, that's just the opposite. We would never try to make each other feel guilty yes. if we were having a holy relationship. Exactly. Exactly. Our, our goal would be to not allow each other to feel guilty. That would be the goal of our relationship. If it was a holy relationship. If it was a holy relationship. Recognizing that the one thing that keeps us from joining is guilt. And so the one thing that we have to be, that we would choose to be most vigilant against would be guilt so that we could experience real union. Okay. So now I'm gonna read to you. Okay, we're looking pretty closely at the special relationship and we are seeing how it imprisons. Yes, we are. Yes. Yeah. So one thing I like to I like to do that will help me right now is to is to say to myself, the special relationship imprisons. Mm. The special relationship imprisons with guilt. Yes. The special relationship imprisons you with guilt. Mm -hmm. The special relationship as the fearful mind does it, as the ego does it, Earl, special relationships imprison you with guilt. Special mm -hmm. relationships imprison you with guilt. Mm -hmm. If used by your ego, special relationships imprison you with guilt. You only want relationships where the purpose of the relationship is to release each other from guilt. Yes. You, that's the only kind of relationship you want. Yes, that's right. And Anna, any relationship that you feel imprisoned by guilt in, that's a relationship that's special. That's a special relationship. Any relationship that uses guilt, that's a relationship that imprisons. That's a special relationship. And the only thing, or the, the, a, the most helpful learning aid in protecting you from the attraction to a relationship that's going to imprison you, even though it looks like fun at first and it feels very pleasurable, is going to be the holy instant. All yeah, right. you got to. Yeah, that's what he holds me to say. Say when you talk, you got to talk to yourself. So mm -hmm. when you hear it back, 
you get the gift of this thing and everybody that needs to hear to feel like that you're talking to them too. That's right. You know? Exactly, because we're learning the same things here. I, I get, I'm so attracted to specialness. Thank you for saying that. I'm so attracted too. to Thank wanting you. to be singled out and yes. seen as the most mm -hmm. valuable and the most important and the one that's mm -hmm. the most, you know, yes. you know, this, <laughs> I, I'm attracted to specialness. Yes. And, yes. and, um, and every special relationship I've ever been in, I felt guilt in it. Yes, that's right. Every single one of them. Every single one. Broken into by periods in which it seems to be gone. But I have not been in a special love relationship in my life that there wasn't guilt in. Mm -hmm. And what I'm hearing him tell me is that that was why I got in it in the first place and didn't even know it. That's right. <laughs> didn't even know it. And, and right now, for me, a lot of my, my spiritual healing work really is looking at just how attracted I really am to a special relationship, to a relationship that uses guilt. Know, and asking for the correction of that. That's a holy instant too. Wow, I'm attracted to something that imprisons me with guilt. Spirit, I ask you to look upon that attraction. I ask you to look upon that attraction that I have to that and I ask you to correct it. I ask you to correct the belief that I want to be imprisoned. And to make it really, really... And that's really, a holy instant. And to make it really, really practical mm -hmm. in the physical body, mm -hmm. then... I could see it as my purpose to be a aid in helping you That's never right. feel guilty. That's right. Then that prayer has substance. Absolutely. And what if we actually said, hey, let's agree that the purpose of our relationship is to release each other from guilt. That's the, that's the only reason why that's we're together is to release each other from that's guilt. That's it. That's our only purpose. That's it. That's it. There's some other things I think of I'd rather do with you than that. I understand. But this is going to yield more pleasure, more joy and uh, less devastation. Really? Right, than anything else that... Than anything else I could possibly do with you. Than anything else that had all those promises that were so pleasurable. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I'm getting this, because I'm tired of going through this and, and not remembering. Yes. <laughs> I'd rather get one paragraph right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the special relationship is totally meaningless without a body. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. So now, where do you hear sentences like that? And if you value the special relationship, you must also value the body. Duh. Duh. If the special relationship is totally meaningless without a body, if you value special relationship, you must also value the body. And what you value, you will keep. The special relationship is a device for limiting yourself to a body, in other words, and for limiting your perception of others to their bodies. Now the great rays would establish the total lack of value of the special relationship if the great rays were seen. For in seeing the great rays, the body would disappear. Why? Because the body's value would be lost when you were seeing the great rays. And when the value of the body was lost in your perception because you're looking at something else, your whole investment in seeing the body would be withdrawn from the body. If that wasn't a bunch of meaningless <laughs> stuff you just said, <laughs> to for the about ego, about for my ego, about for about my ego, for the part of me that believes <laughs> that I'm a body, yes, that part of me that's sitting here on the sofa, it's like, nah, 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 that was exactly what you sound like. It was like you were going. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. So this is this is this is what I this is what I'm saying. Uh, I heard that if you didn't have a body, right, thank having you. a special relationship with you wouldn't mean nothing to me. Tell, tell <laughs> I said truth. again, if you didn't have a body, having a special relationship with you wouldn't mean anything so to me. True. If you didn't have a body, I wouldn't want you. That's true. Having a special relationship with you would not have any meaning That's right. without your body. That's right. If you took your body away, I don't that's want to right. have a special relationship exactly. with you. Exactly. And it's pitiful, but I know that's what I'm like. I know <laughs> you got to tell the truth. I know that the, 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 truth. the special relationship that's is right. totally meaningless without a body. That's true. Without a body. I mean, it, it, and I, I can see it another way. The special relationship is meaningless without a body around you. Yes, it, that's true. You know, without a body, the yes. special relationship is meaningless without a body. That's right. I need me a body. That's exactly right. To have, I did, a special I have to have a special relationship, I gotta have my body. Exactly. And he's also telling me 
uh, the voice for God is also telling me if I value if I value a special relationship with you, I also value your body. That's right. If I if I value mm -hmm. yes. really I do. Mm. Oh, oh, could, I, could I value your body? <laughs> Anna, I wouldn't have a relationship with you if you didn't have a body. If you didn't have a body, girl, I wouldn't have nothing to do with you. <laughs> and if you didn't have a body, I wouldn't have anything to do with you. Well, is that true? You feel the same way? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. So we equally need each other might, to body to make I might have spiritual communion with you every once in a while. I keep your picture on my altar <laughs> every once in a while. But I wouldn't like be putting guilt on you. And I wouldn't be accepting guilt from you if you didn't have a body. So... If I value the special relationship, I value the body. Yes. So I value the body. I value the body. Right. I value the body because I value mm -hmm. special relationships. I value the body. Right. I value the body. Right. I value the body. You value the body. I 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 do. I do. I value the body. I value the body. Sing it. I value the body. Yes. I value yes. the body because yes. I value special relationship. Mm -hmm. I value the body because I value my special relationship with you. Yes. The next thing I am going to say to you is what, whatever I value, I keep. Yes. So if I value special relationships, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep the special relationship. If I value guilt, I'm going to keep the special relationship. Yep. If I value special relationship, I value guilt. Yes. I value the body. Yes. I value special relationships, so I keep special relationships. Yes, right. I value guilt, so I keep guilt. Yes. But if I value the truth, I will keep the truth. That's right. Whatever I value. I keep. keep. If I value you, I right. keep you. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I heard the special relationship is, it's a little this, a device for limiting myself to a body. So I go into the club mm -hmm. and I walk into the club and I look at all the women walking around, the female bodies, and then what I say to myself is I want a special relationship. Mm -hmm. But what I'm really saying to myself is I want a device for limiting myself to a body yes. tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a device to limit myself to a body tonight. Yes. I'm looking for this female body device to limit myself to tonight. a body tonight. I'm okay tonight. Or hopefully, I will, hopefully longer. Hopefully long. Tonight I want to limit myself to my, to a body. Yes. So tonight uh, I need a device for limiting myself to a body. Uh -huh. And the way that I'm gonna limit myself to my body and forget my unlimited mm -hmm. spiritual identity, yes. the way I'm gonna limit myself to a body yes. and forget my unlimited spiritual mm -hmm. identity is I'm going to form a special relationship. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I need a relationship that makes me feel guilty so I can continue to limit myself to being only a physical body and, and not an unlimited spiritual being. If I want to lose sight of my unlimited nature, <laughs> I have to form a special mm -hmm. relationship because it's a device for limiting mm -hmm. myself yes. to my body. Yes. All right? Okay. okay. And good. that means I also, if I want a special relationship, I want to limit my perception of you to your yes. body. So if I'm in a special relationship with you, all I want to see is your body. That's right. If I'm in a special relationship mm -hmm. with you, all I want to see is your body. That's I want right. to see your body right here with me. I want to see your body. That's right. And exactly. I want to see your body right here with me. Exactly. Okay? That's right. And right. what my body does is going to be more important than where my mind goes. Oh, I don't care what you think. Right. Except whether it's going to bring you closer to me or take you away from me. That's the only thing That's I care right. about with you. With you. you think something's going to bring you closer to me and make you more under my control? Uh -huh. I like that way you, you think. You like that thought. But if you, if you think some thought that says that you're free to live your life like you want to without having to consider my needs, yes. that's a cult. That's right. You know, so I don't care <laughs> what you think it's, except is it going to take you away from me or is it going to keep you with me, your right. body. Right. That's right. Because I need your body to have a special relationship that fosters the guilt that makes me think I'm separate from God. There, they, there you have it. You know, more or there less. There you have it. More or less. That's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, All right? That's right. I need to hear this, Anna. Me too. Because I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling my desire for specialness like never before, Anna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense. It's today. like, oh. So the course is the, the course is the great rays, mm. you know, uh, which is a singing group. <laughs> <laughs> The singing group from God. They call it the, great, the Holy Spirit singing group. It's called the Great Rays. <laughs> the Great Rays. <laughs> which that would be a great um, title in, for in, a band. In, 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 in the Great Rays yeah. now. Now that that means uh, uh, true love, yes. love yes. the truth. The Great yes. Rays says would establish the total lack of value of the special relationship. If the great rays were seen, if I was to see the love in you, if I was really right. to see the truth in yes. you, 
Uh, I wouldn't even value a special relationship Ooh. the more I see you. I would wow. not value a relationship with you that right. I would use to make guilt for me and you. Wow. I wouldn't want a relationship that yes. would be a device for limiting myself to a body and not accept my, 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 my mm -hmm. perception yes. and my perception of you to your body. I know what's happening to me. What? I'm beginning to remember this stuff. That's right. How could you tell? I'm, because I was able to say that back to you pretty much verbatim yes. without looking at the book. Yes. But, but it's not because I was trying to remember. It was just the way the conversation came out of yes. me. Yes, right. You know, it's like I, I heard him. Mm -hmm. A special relationship is a device for limiting myself to a body and you mm -hmm. to a body. Yes. I wouldn't be interested in you if you didn't have a body, because yeah. then I couldn't have a special relationship with me mm -hmm. that with you that would foster uh, a guilt, yes. because the attraction of guilt opposes the attraction of God, mm -hmm. and there's a part of me that doesn't want to join with God. Right. So I need a special relationship to keep me from joining with God, mm -hmm. to keep me from joining with love, because it's, it's a device for limiting me to my body, you to your body, yes. fostering guilt between us. Yes. Well, I think it's going to give me some freedom. Right. It's really, because you feel out that intensity of specialness, yeah. and you just can't wait to, like, you know, act on it and yes. feel it. Yes. And so you think it's going to free you because yes. you'll get a chance to feel something with this yes. person that you've never felt before. Yes. You, may, you know, you're your special partner. You do stuff that you would never do with That's anybody. Right. So actually, your specialness tells you freedom lies That's in this. That's right. Wow, that's, right. that's so deep. But then it, but, but what you end up doing is feeling guilty. That's right. And anything that, that you feel, anytime you feel guilty, you're actually being imprisoned. So it has the illusion of freeing you. Oh, this will enable me to go past all of my obstacles. How am I supposed to overlook your body? You're so fine. <laughs> what, what, how am I supposed to do that? The holy instant. The, the holy instant. What, what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's something what that, that? Uh -huh. that you choose but can't provide. Uh, what is it? <laughs> it's an instant where you actually ask for protection it's an instant where you want something you remember what you want it's a moment you go okay okay all right, all right. i want something beyond the body i don't i want release from guilt i want release from, that's what i really want i want release from guilt more than i want the body so really if you thought you were ugly you really be in the physical you really be in the physical state that would make the people less attracted to having a relationship with you that they try to make you feel guilty. So, so you'd be you the most free. To, yeah, right. So if you didn't look that attractive to the world, mm -hmm. you right. would be the freest person in the world. That's right. That's deep. It's like being invisible. Because the world is only mm -hmm. looking for a body, a special body, a special body that it's attracted to yes. that it thinks it can make the guilt with. Right. But if you're not attractive enough, they don't want to make the guilt with you. That's right. So they're not trying to make a special relationship with you, which means they're not using guilt on you, which means you're free. Wow. Or you could be free. You could be free. You know. if, if, you, if your pride you could handle not being exactly. special, you would be free in the world. Exactly. Because you, go, you would be in the world unnoticed. That's right. Which really is freedom. In the world. In the world. It's, it's like having a superhero power. If you're not special in the world, yes. you're invisible. That's right. If you're invisible, you can do anything you want. That's right. That's right. Like a lot of times people say to me, you know, you might be famous or, or if you're a teacher one day, who knows you could be famous. And the first thing would come to my mind was, why would I want that? Yeah. What, yeah. Kind, of, what kind of freedom mm -hmm. is it in having, you know, someone always trying to watch and judge everything you do? Absolutely. And that's why I realized I had to really feel innocent and, and be following the will of God to feel okay about however it turned out. So yes. I'm not going to say... How it, how God should use me, mm -hmm. or how many people God should use me before. Mm -hmm. I just got to be clear that I don't want to form a special relationship even with the people that I teach, right? Or who will teach me, mm -hmm. because then we'll be using our relationship to foster guilt and keep each other in the body, limit each other exactly. to the body. That's deep. Mm -hmm. That's deep. Yes. That's I can't teach that over and over again. Um, the other thing that it says is. Uh, it says, if I really saw the truth about you, if I saw the love in you, your body would disappear. Mm -hmm. So how do I know I haven't seen the truth in you? Mm. Baby, your body has not disappeared. <laughs> it has not disappeared. Your body has not disappeared, so I don't see the truth in you. I don't see the great rays. I don't see the great love. I don't see the great right rays. I just see great eyes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. I see great nose. I see great mm -hmm. mouth. I see great mm -hmm. lips. I see great ears. I haven't got to your great grades yet. That's right. Okay? Yeah. Because I still see your body. Yeah. So I know I'm not... You, mm -hmm. I, I can see yourself saying to somebody, No, you don't really see me. I yes. know you don't really see me because you still see my body. So That's I know right. you don't see me. That's right. I've said that before.
Mm, that's deep to think that that once you really see me, meaning the truth in me, the way that I'm created by God, that my body won't even look attractive. It won't be my body that's attractive. I would get to the point that I overlook your body. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll see the outline of it, but... <laughs> right. but now tell me how I'm supposed to be excited you're... about this path. Exactly. Tell me how I'm supposed to be like yes, really right. turned on about turning mm -hmm. this body into an yes. outline. Uh, Come uh, on. Uh, oh, well, I wonder why people resist the course. I wonder, I wonder why. why. What could it be? What could it be about it that would make somebody not rush mm -hmm. to this teaching? Especially the relationship sections. Especially the relationship sections. Oh, if you really, Gee, if you I wonder grow. why. Now, now, I don't <laughs> want you to notice my body. I don't want you yes. to overlook it. Yeah. Because how else could I not stay limited to it? Right. If you don't look at it mm -hmm. and use this relationship to mm -hmm. limit us to the body, how are we going to have a bodily experience if we're not limited to the body? Exactly. And how am I going to be limited to my body unless I have a relationship that sees me as my body it and values me as a body? And makes me feel guilty. And makes me feel guilty, which makes me more a body. A body. So we often want, I used to ask that question, how is it? that I got here. And the Course of Miracles says guilt. Yep. And I went, what? Yep. Guilt. That's not, that's again, that don't sound all nicey, nice and uh, spiritual. No, it doesn't. No. It doesn't sound like one of those highfalutin spiritual answers. How'd you get here? Guilt. <laughs> only, you have to be guilty to want to be born here. Where, what other spiritual curriculum have you ever heard that said that? It sounds negative. It's so negative. It sounds negative. So and you're going to create that since you're saying this negative <laughs> stuff. You know that, right? I mean, how straight up is that? Yeah. Uh, how did you get in a guilty world where it looks like people can be hurt all the time? Uh, guilt. 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 How do you get out of here? Your innocence? Mm -hmm. What kind of relationship do you want? A relationship that aids me in knowing that I'm innocent? That's right. Well, what's your focus got to be on? Your purpose and your mind? Not the body. Not the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is focusing on the body wrong? No. Is focusing on the body bad? It's just nothing. <laughs> it's focusing on nothing. And nothing, valuing nothing, is where suffering really comes from. Not sin, but because you value nothing. You're investing in nothing. And so you get a nothing return. And that's why you feel empty and depressed. You hear that, Anna? <laughs> you hear that, Anna? You hear that, Anna? <laughs> investing in nothing is where suffering comes from. Yeah. Oh, this is bringing wow. up so much stuff. I know. Oh my goodness. Oh, mm. I hate some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I hate my ego, the part of me that thinks it is guilty, the body yes. and separate, doesn't like to hear this. Yeah, the part of me that values the body and values my body, values me as a body, this is bad news. <laughs> <laughs> so the body disappearing isn't your body going up in smoke. Right. The body disappearing is means no longer valuing it. That's right. So, because, because you're seeing something that is outshining the body. The body. That's why. Better than the body. Is you're Tell seeing, me I see something better than I'm the body. I'm telling you, the reason the body disappears is because you begin to see something that's better than the body. There's something better than the body There's to see. There's something way better than the body to see and experience that has no cost, <laughs> that has no price, that you don't have to pay for in coins of suffering. So, I want to tell you that if you look for and value the truth in me, you will see something through me that will, that will be a hundred times more attractive than my body to you. You'll be turned on by this more than you ever, ever dreamed of being turned on by a body before. <laughs> Did you hear that, Anna? <laughs> There's something that could turn you on more than the body. There's something There's that could something turn you, that on, could more turn you on more than the body. There's something that could turn you on even more than the body. And free runs. you and, and free, free you for you. real. And free you. For real. Free you. You're, you're, you. you're free Willie. Free Anna. <laughs> free Anna. <laughs> free all people. Yes. <laughs> free all people. Yes.
you know. Yes. And free willy nilly. Mm -hmm. Free willy nilly. Yes. Every way. Just free yeah. willy willy nilly. Mm -hmm. Free willy nilly. <laughs> free willy nilly. <laughs> free people willy nilly. Free free people willy nilly. Mm -hmm. Free willy nilly and willy nilly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, and the and the older I get, I notice that the more I want to see something that that would satisfy me more than the body. Because the, the more I age, the more I realize that satisfaction through the body has been a complete and total myth. It's like the Course says, there is no pleasure in the body. There is no satisfaction through the body. It's like, how long is it going to take, Anna, for you to get that, put that together, the obvious? Do you, when you go for the body, do you end up being satisfied or do you end up going, okay, what's next? Ooh, what's next? Oh, what's next? The body, the the body never delivers on its promise. Ever, it, it like the course says, it has no hope of pleasure. Uh, is this saying it's wrong for me to experience pleasure? When I hear stuff like that, it means that it's just it's, 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 it's that stuff again telling me it's not okay for me to have physical pleasure. That somehow or another I shouldn't enjoy my body. That's what I hear. Of course, but he didn't say that. He just said, he said, it's the valuing of it. Is the valuing of it in place of their truth that is what brings about suffering not the pleasure itself the pleasure itself totally nothing totally innocent but my the it's problem a call is for help in a world of misery that's right <laughs> the problem is is that I was valuing that more than who and what they are like that was what was most important not who they are not their awakening not who they are not the great rays that are pouring forth from them for just because of who they are the what their bot their body was more important and my body was more important mm -mm. that's okay and so the value of the body being lost is also my whole investment in seeing it would be withdrawn mm. for it from it. Right. Okay, uh, I got an investment in seeing your body. Mm -hmm. I'm going to withdraw the yes. investment in seeing your body. Yeah. Because I see something so much greater than your body, yes. I'm now investing in that. Exactly. Instead and of investing in seeing your body. Right. Exactly. And you know what? how that might look in our relationships? Mm-hmm is where we pay more attention and have express more interest in their thoughts, in their purpose, in their in what they are thinking, than how our body looks to them, and how their body looks, you know, how to us, um, and more investment in what they think and how we can join with them on purpose and in eternal thoughts than me using our relationship to figure out how I can get them to make me more special. So that's how it might look in our relationship. Like in practical terms. I'm spending more of my energy not figuring out how to get you to make me more special. But what is it? Who are you? What are you thinking? What would you like to think? Would you be willing to join with me in some eternal thoughts? Would you like to spend some of our time together focusing on ideas that are eternal that go beyond the body? Well, you know what's a trip is that when I, in any relationship that I will allow myself mm -hmm. to focus on the truth in, yes. that's the relationship where my passion gets stirred up the most. Hey, hey, hey ding, 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 did which you hear I, that? Which I think is really a trip. Is that when I think about it, the truth mm -hmm. is the greatest aphrodisiac that Abs. I've ever experienced now that it's my primary purpose. Exactly. Now that it's your primary purpose. Absolutely. When it becomes your primary purpose, truth turns you on like the body never did. Now that's something. I, I love that statement. Like the body never did. Even though, the, exactly, like more than the body ever did. That's something. Wow. Wait a minute. The truth, if you really heard what it was saying, and you really experienced the way it frees you as you hear it, not delayed, as you hear it, then you would recognize that the body has an ability to bring you greater pleasure and turn you on more than the body ever did. And without cost, without be, having to pay coins of suffering just because you experienced a little bit of pleasure. Because the goal is truth. Because the goal is truth. The goal is sanity. Yes. Truth and sanity and peace. Wow, okay, something that turns us on more than the body. 
something that yields more pleasure than the body. There's safe something pleasure. that yields more pleasure than the body that's safe and peaceful without yes. the condemnation of the Ooh, body. Yeah. We're not condemning your body. We're not condemning yes. the body. We're not no. condemning the body. We're not condemning the body. But there is something yes. greater in pleasure that you could experience even beyond the pleasures That's of right. the body is what I'm saying. But you don't have to worry about losing. You can't ever lose it. It won't hurt you. Yes. It won't make you burn and steam. <laughs> That's an important point. That's an important point. <laughs> it says the one motivation of a good teacher is to increase the motivation <laughs> of the of student. The student. Of the student that know. would do it. That would do it. That's oh, right. wait a A pleasure that won't result in something that burns and stings. <laughs> Or heartbreak where it's going to take me years to get over. That's right. You know. That's right. Okay. That's right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anna. Yes. You see mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. you value. Oh. So I'll say it this way. You are seeing the world you value. Mm -hmm. Yes, I you am. You are seeing the world you value. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay. All On right. this side mm -hmm. of the bridge. Yes. Okay. On this side of the bridge. Of the bridge you see the world of separate bodies yes. seeking to join each mm -hmm. other yes. in separate unions mm -hmm. and to become one by losing. That's a perfect description of what's here. When two individuals seek to become one, uh -huh. the two individuals yes. are trying to mm -hmm. decrease mm -hmm. their magnitude. Right. When two individuals try to become one individual, they're actually decreasing their yes. magnitude. <laughs> Each would deny his power for the separate union excludes the universe. Mm -hmm. Far more is left outside than would be taken in. Mm -hmm. For God mm -hmm. is left without and nothing <laughs> taken in. Mm -hmm. If one such union mm -hmm. were made in perfect faith, the universe would enter into it. If one mm -hmm. such union was made in perfect faith, if one union mm -hmm. was made in perfect faith, if our union mm -hmm. was made in perfect faith, yes. the universe would Ooh. enter into it. That sounds like a lot of people. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yet the special relationship the ego seeks, mm -hmm. the special right. relationship the mind mm -hmm. that is seeking guilt seeks, that relationship does not <laughs> include even uh. one whole individual. <laughs> the ego, the guilty mind, just wants part uh. of an individual. Yes. And it, the guilty mind sees only the part of the individual that it wants and nothing else. Yes, right. Okay, that's so romantic. <laughs> and, uh, isn't it? Isn't it? And we should have wine and candles. I, I know. I don't know this what happened. This looks like a marriage ceremony. I know, it just sounds, I feel so much closer to you now that I know that you're trying to destroy my spiritual awareness. Absolutely, and uh, I feel so much closer to you uh, with by telling you that I only want parts of you. Oh, uh, well, I hope it's some parts I would <laughs> Can I suggest parts? <laughs> Is, is that okay? Can I suggest the part? You already did. Oh, okay. Yeah, a long All right. time ago. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got it. I got the special part that you would have me value. <laughs> like, I, I, you're not going to value all of me completely well. At least can you value well, the parts I recommend? I've always wanted somebody to value my earlobe. Oh, that's, uh, that's, oh, I, that's kinky. That, that I know. That's, it, that's what I've been wanting. That's the part. That's the part. <laughs> I could, and I you could, didn't even care if they uh, threw away the rest of no, you. No, no, the rest of the parts. This is the only part of my body I wanted you to want was my earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe that, I got a couple of shares of the Golden Gate Bridge, I can no, say, well, for a really cheap price, oh, too. Okay. okay, just want to make sure. <laughs> so, okay. what did that so say? What, I heard, what did you hear, Okay, Anna? well, what I heard is that, that what I'm seeing around me, mm -hmm. the world I see, that is purely 100% a just what I value. That's what I'm seeing, and that's it. I'm seeing only... Anna, all mm -hmm. you see <laughs> is what you're valuing, okay? And on, and so this is going to tell you what it is that you're valuing, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, what you're valuing, that's everything that you're seeing in your world, which is basically, he says, this side of the bridge. Yeah, we okay? are, my, we are, my we are, world. We are, it's a bridge. <laughs> 
Like we're on we're on this side. Of That's the bridge. right. Okay. My world is this side of the bridge. Okay. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. what is it that I'm valuing that I'm seeing in my world? Well, I'm seeing a bunch of separate bodies, and people in separate bodies seeking to join each other in separate unions. Okay. Okay. Say, say, okay, say, I'm, gonna, I'm getting there. Say, 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 think different body too, separate and different. Also, how about this? Mm -hmm. uh, it says, I'm, I see a world of separate bodies seeking to join each other in separate unions, which means exclusive unions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a bunch of separate people looking seeking to join each other in exclusive unions mm -hmm. which is hilarious mm -hmm. that term cancels each other out with you i would like an exclusive union <laughs> <laughs> that's an oxymoron completely totally, totally you know i want to join with you hey i'm separate i'm i'm separate i'm just me and nobody and nothing else i'm a separate body that's mm -hmm. what i am and i'm seeking to join you in an exclusive union. So I'm separate and I want us to join in excluding ourselves also some more. Okay, that's what I that's what I see in my world. Why? Because that's what I value. <laughs> that's what I value. In other words, when two individuals, which means two separate people, two people who see themselves as separate, when two people who see themselves as bodies seek to become one, what they're really trying to do is decrease their magnitude. So when two people, like when you and I, like you and I see each other still as our bodies, and when we seek to join, what we're really trying to do is decrease our magnitude. When two people who see themselves as bodies seek to join, <laughs> what they're really trying to do is decrease their magnitude. So I want to get with wow. you so I can become smaller. Exactly. I want to wow. get with you in a special relationship so that I can become smaller. Right, because I see myself as a separate individual. I see myself as a body. I see myself as small. Saying I see myself as a separate individual or a body is the same as saying I see myself as small. And I'm looking to feel smaller. <laughs> and so I'm attracted to a relationship that uses guilt. Doesn't sound romantic. Ooh, I mean, you don't sound all. romantic. And what it means is to say that, that people who see themselves as body are, are joining to try to decrease their magnitude is that each person is trying to deny their power. Why? Why is it that what happens in our relationship is I start denying my power once I get in? Have you ever noticed that? that? That once you get into a relationship, all of a sudden you start denying your own power? What that look Anna. like? What would that look like, Anna? How do you deny your power in a relationship? Oh, I stop being myself for one thing. Okay. And I stop doing the things that increase my creativity. I I deny myself the things that I really love to do, for them. For them, for the good of the relationship, because I feel too guilty, to take time away from them. I deny my power. Wow. So when I feel small because I see myself as a body and you see yourself as small because you see yourself as a body and we get in a relationship, what's really going to happen is that we're going to start denying our power. And that's what we've done. It's almost like we use the relationship to, to deny who we are, to de actually deny who we are. Absolutely. We use the relationship to deny who we are, which is powerful which is free, Innocent, which is sinless. Sinless, guiltless, yes, unlimited. Unlimited. <clears throat> I, I can totally relate to that. There are so many, so many relationships that once I got into us, I, I started denying myself my power immediately. My power of extension, I, my power, all the things that empowered me, I stopped doing. It's almost as if you, it, as if you, put yourself in a relationship where you feel like you need somebody else's permission. Yes, to be yourself. To be yourself. That's right. To you need do them the, to say it's okay. For you to do the things that empower you. It's and, okay. And you know you, it's okay you. for you to be yourself. Please give me permission to be myself. As free. Without being made to feel guilty. Yes. <sighs> wow, I totally see that. You know, each person in a relationship like that, where both people see themselves as separate bodies, 
each person really is denying their power because the separate meaning exclusive union excludes the universe the exclusive union excludes the universe what does that mean that means that in that relationship far more is left outside the relationship than would be taken in why is that because in that exclusive union God and truth is left out and nothing is taken in in a special Ooh. relationship you're taking in nothing but you're leaving you're leaving out God which is real love which is freedom and you're not taking anything in in a special relationship you're not taking anything in and you're leaving a everything whole out. lot out you're leaving everything, everything out, out and taking nothing in in a special guilt relationship mm -hmm. you're taking nothing in and a special relationship is a relationship where once it's formed, you begin denying your power. Wow. Through how? How do you best deny your power? Guilt. Feeling guilty about who you are and feeling guilty about your freedom. Wow. And he says, but, 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 but. if one such relationship that we just described if one of these relationships that was two people who saw themselves as separate bodies getting together to decrease their magnitude and deny their power and leave God out, leave everything out, take nothing in, if one of those relationships, if one such reunion were made in perfect faith, then everything would enter into that relationship. Everything would enter into our union everything would enter into our union if our relationship was made in perfect faith. Woo! So how can I tell if okay. I'm in a relationship with you that's based on perfect faith? Okay. Everything, the mm -hmm. whole universe, love would enter into it. Okay. Here's how, here's how uh, we, here's what we would do, be doing if we, what do you say, if we were, um, if we were um, made, if it was made in perfect faith. Okay. So a relationship that is made in perfect faith is a relationship that trusts, where each people trust that if they will release the other person from guilt, which means free the other person from guilt, that that they would experience a satisfaction and a completion and a pleasure and a joy that they they went beyond their wildest dreams of what the body and specialness could do. That's what it means to make a relationship in perfect faith. It's like this. I feel really tempted to use guilt right now. I really do. I feel really tempted to feel guilty and to and to deny my power and not do the things that empower me. I feel really tempted to, to feel guilty and to, to deny my power. I feel really tempted to use guilt on you right now. Really tempted. My anger lets me know I'm really being fact, tempted to use already, guilt on you That's right, right. As a matter of fact, in my mind, I already have. Now, if I can, if I can choose faith instead, which is like this, I will not use guilt. I will not use guilt. I will not feel guilty. I will not feel guilty. I will not feel guilty. I will not feel guilty and deny my power. I will not feel guilty. And I will not use guilt on this person. This is, I will not use, per, I, will, I will trust that if I'll just release them, if I just release them, if I just release them from guilt and I just release myself from guilt, then all, everything, the universe will enter into this relationship, meaning everything I could possibly want or need or desire that will fill me completely, make me happy would enter it would come to me it would enter i don't have i wouldn't have to go seek it that everything i wanted in my heart of hearts would enter of its own accord into this relationship if i just want to use guilt i just want to use guilt don't use guilt don't use guilt that means a relationship if our relationship was made in perfect faith then everything we wanted and ever dreamed possible would enter in because when I use guilt on you to get you to meet my imagined needs, or I use guilt on myself and disempower myself to keep the relationship, 
That's the same as saying, I'm absolutely leaving God out of our relationship. That's my way of kicking God out. Wow. So, because when, when I say yes to guilt and I use guilt, God can't, God can't be in our relationship. Love can't be in our because relationship. Because love guilt. and guilt cannot exist in the same place simultaneously because they're opposites. One denies the other. <laughs> Love is the opposite of guilt. Guilt is the opposite of love. Guilt, feeling guilty, is the opposite yes. of feeling loving. That's right. And only love meets and fulfills your deepest needs, not guilt. Guilt keeps your deepest needs from being fulfilled. Feeling guilty keeps your needs from being met. That's right. And like you were saying in that first paragraph, I think it was, you were saying that, that if you will just not use guilt, then love will seek and find you. Right. right. Remember he was saying that? Yeah. yeah. Say, so, in other words, same as saying that if I just won't you yield to the temptation of guilt, the lure of guilt, then everything, the whole universe will enter in to the relationship. And fulfill me beyond my wildest dreams. Same as saying the universe will enter into our relationship. If we'll just make it in faith. I'll trust. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust that if I just won't say yes to guilt with you. And if I won't use guilt on you. That I will be fulfilled. <laughs> I will <laughs> be I fulfilled. If I don't use guilt on you, I'll be fulfilled. Exactly. If I don't use guilt on you, I will be fulfilled. All my needs will be met. All of my needs will be Beyond made. my wildest dreams. If so I don't want word, you to feel guilty. Right. If I just don't want you to feel guilty. And I, it's not to say that I'm not going to feel tempted. I am for a while. I am still now. I am still in the habit of, of thinking that guilt will free me. If I just use guilt on you, I'll get my way and I'll be free. So it's not, it's not saying that the temptation uh, to use guilt and that the lure of guilt won't still be attractive to you. It's going to be. It is still attractive to you. It's just saying, like he says, like he says in another part of the section, just let it, you know, notice it. Just don't use it. Don't use it. Don't use it. Acknowledge the attraction. Call upon a holy instant. Ask for the correction of it. And don't use it. And the universe will enter into your relationship. Love will seek you and find you and meet all your deepest needs to the point where you don't have those needs anymore. How would you like that? Needs being met until you don't even have them anymore. That's what you, I want. It's going to come through me having perfect faith in our relationship That's right. to satisfy that need I have for innocence so the whole yes. universe can enter into it. And we, wanna, we want a relationship that the whole universe can enter into mm -hmm. and that does not limit us yes. to our bodies. Yes. And innocence does that. A release from guilt and freeing people from, it's like, what are you freeing people? It's like, love is freedom. What are you freeing people from? You're freeing them from guilt. That's what you're freeing people. You, you know, so it's not like you're freeing the body. You can't free a body. What we're freeing each other from is guilt. I, I release you from guilt. And yeah, we make mistakes. Mistakes are for correction, not punishment. Right, mistakes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you, but you're not guilty. That's right. You didn't violate the laws of God permanently or even really temporarily. You didn't. Yes. You haven't broken the laws of God. Yes, you haven't broken the laws of love. You can't break the laws of love. So, yes, you can be mistaken. You can make mistakes, but you cannot be guilty. You cannot be guilty. Meaning, you can't make a mistake. You can't make a mistake for which your destruction is inevitable. You can't make a mistake that would make you worthy of my condemnation. I can't make a mistake that could destroy me. You can't make a mistake that would destroy our love. Sorry. Try again later. <laughs> well, I know you will. You couldn't make a mistake. <laughs> Can you imagine hearing that regularly? Hey, I hear you. I see you feeling guilty. I see you're feeling guilty. I hear you saying you're feeling guilty about something. Well, I would like to tell you that you can't make a mistake that would destroy my love for you. 
And sure, you're, you're mistaken, but that's all. It does not have the power to destroy the love I have for you. And that's deep. And the relationship that the guilty man enters doesn't even include one whole person. That's right. Okay, so not only not only are we having an, forming an exclusive union that separates us from the whole universe, but I don't even want you completely. <laughs> I don't want the universe and I don't want you either. That's right. Not completely. I don't want the universe and I don't even want all of you. I just want some parts of you. You know how small that narrows down our mind to? How, how What smallness that narrows, I mean, it's like, it takes our mind from the universe down to not even one whole person, but parts of that person. That's deep. Wow. Okay. All of that because I want to limit myself to a body. Because I think that that's freedom. I learned that was, my ego taught me that was freedom. Now I'm learning what freedom really is and where freedom really comes from. And it comes from releasing from guilt. It comes from freeing others and yourself from guilt. Now you get to experience real freedom. Now you experience the universe flowing in, love finding you, and meeting all your needs. And you are innocent. You, you, you are innocent. 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 Sinless. You have no sin. Yes. You are guiltless. There's no guilt in you, and you don't want any relationship that fosters guilt. Yes. No relationship that makes you feel guilty yes. is real. Amen. And just because you are mistaken often doesn't mean you deserve guilt ever. Your mistakenness does not entitle you to guilt. You make a mistake, if you make a mistake, you deserve to be lovingly corrected. Yes. Anna, if you make a mistake, you deserve to be lovingly corrected. Mm. You deserve, all of you Thank deserve you. to be lovingly corrected. I deserve to be yes, lovingly corrected. Yes, and Earl, when you make a mistake, you, what you really deserve is to be lovingly and gently corrected. That's what you deserve when you've made a mistake. When you've made a mistake, Earl, all you deserve is to be lovingly and gently corrected. That's what you deserve. That's it. Not punishment with guilt. <sighs> All right. That's the truth. All right. Okay. I think this is it. I think that's plenty. Don't you? Don't you think Don't that's you think about that's enough plenty? to chew on, gang? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. So go to earlpurdy.com and you can watch all kinds of videos. That don't even like this. I know that excites you to hear more of this. <laughs> and, uh, I'm also available for workshops, lectures, and also I am available for personal consultations applying the Course in Miracles yes. to your situation, which is also going to be my situation. Yes. So I just want you to know you're not alone. You have support, and I have support. You. That's right. And you can go to my website at anakujawa.com, and that's A-N-N-A-K-U-J-A-W-A.com for my class videos and these videos and also I'm a holistic psychotherapist and you can contact me through there for one-on-one -on -one sessions about how to apply this to your experience oh love is freedom love is freedom love is freedom love is freedom